A risk is a risk only when you don't have a proof. So when we are trying to grow in our career, we try to go in multiple directions, right? So today I'll be giving you proof number one. If you go into the drug discovery, disease biology direction, it is going to grow or not that proof, okay? So like I said, without proof, there is huge risk, right? So do not believe anyone who says market is going to explode. How? We need to know, right? So the first thing, let's find out proof number one. The proof number one is market research or market sizing companies, okay? That, that is always there. So if they start suddenly reporting that this particular field is going to grow, going to grow, going to grow, and those are reputed ones, then definitely it is going to grow because the trend will not never turn into tradition unless there is a proof. So uh, the proof which we have right now is there is a um, report by Global Market Insights and which is estimating that in 2024, the AIML in drug discovery market was at $3.6 billion and this is going to grow to $49.5 billion by 2034. That means from 2024 to 2034, that is 10 years, the market is going to grow at 30% com compounded annually CAGR. Okay, so annually 30% it will grow, right? So in the next 10 years, we are going to look at a huge boost of more than, I think, 1000% growth, right? So if we are looking at that kind of or 100% or 1000% growth in the market size, definitely there is going to be demand. But this is just one company. There's another company, uh, which is a market sizing uh, report again from there. Uh, the name of the company is Research and Markets. And they are reporting that in 2024, the drug discovery market was at $2 billion and it is going to be $7 billion by 2028. And that means there, there's again a 29.9% CAGR. So both the market sizing firms, reputed firms are reporting this. That's proof number one. Now, proof number two, I'll tell you in my next video. All the best.